Mitchell Neal William Mitch McGurry is an American professional basketball player from Porter, Indiana, who currently plays for the Oklahoma City Thunder of the National Basketball Association. McGurry declared for the NBA draft after completing his sophomore season for the 2013 Euro 14 Michigan Wolverines men's basketball team. He was drafted 21st overall by the Oklahoma City Thunder in the 2014 NBA draft. At the time of his national letter of intent signing with Michigan Wolverines Basketball, ESPN.com and Scout.com ranked McGurry as the number two player in the United States high school class of 2012, while Rivals.com ranked him as the number three prospect. He was not only the consensus top power forward recruit in the nation, but also the top big man according to most sources at the time. After his signing, however, McGurry fell down in the rankings as his underdeveloped offensive skills became apparent. At Michigan, McGurry became the sixth man as well as the leading shot blocker and rebounder for the 2012 Euro 13 Michigan Wolverines men's basketball team. During the season, he was twice named Big Ten Freshman of the Week. He became the regular starter during the 2013 NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Tournament and earned South All Regional Team and NCAA All Tournament Team recognition. He led all Big Ten freshmen in rebounding. Background Mitch McGurry was born on June 6, 1992, and grew up in the Chesterton, Indiana, area. He played in YMCA and Amateur Athletic Union Basketball Leagues as a youth and his father, Tim, who had never played organized sports, coached him until fourth grade. McGurry's mother is named Valerie. When McGurry was younger, his father thought his athletic future was in baseball. McGurry played on the 2007 Euro 08 Chesterton High School junior varsity team as a freshman, while eventual three-time Michigan Wolverines captain Zach Novak was a senior on the varsity team. That year he also was a 6-foot-6-inch, dash 6 inch, 190 190-pound freshman tight end on the high school football team, but his father made him quit football as he continued to grow. His local Indiana spy players AAU basketball team included future Michigan teammates Max Bielfeldt and Glenn Robinson III, son of Glenn Robinson. McGree joined the varsity basketball team the following season and played two years. McGurry is afflicted with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. He eventually transferred to Brewster Academy, a prep school in Wolfboro, New Hampshire, to repeat his junior year because his parents thought the discipline would be good for him. Before transferring to Brewster, McGurry was the tallest kid in his school and in the basketball conference that he played in. McGurry shoots left handed. As late as March 2011, McGurry ranked 92nd in the national class of 2012 by Rivals.com. During the LeBron James Skills Academy in July, McGurry stood out as the best player in attendance. He was invited to participate in the fifth annual Nike Global Challenge the following month. Due to an ankle injury he did not participate. However, later that month, he participated in the Boost Mobile Elite 24 event, where he shattered a backboard. His other 2011 summer camps included Pittsburgh Jam Fest, the National Basketball Players Association Top 100 Camp and the Under Armour Best of the Best Camp, where he was the most valuable player. Also in August, ESPN reported that McGurry had narrowed his list of schools to six, University of Florida, University of Maryland, University of North Carolina, University of Michigan, Duke University and University of Kentucky. Because McGurry does not like to be the bearer of bad news, when he narrowed his list, he had his father contact the coaches of the teams no longer in contention for his services. McGurry scheduled his official Michigan visit for the beginning of September. McGurry completed his official campus visits to University of Michigan, University of North Carolina, and Duke University, in that order, by October of 4. However, Due to injuries suffered a few weeks earlier while shattering the blackboard, he only played pickup games at Duke. He also made an unofficial visit to Florida prior to these official visits. While Michigan assistant coach Bikari Alexander was recruiting him, a Brewster Academy groundskeeper relayed a story about McGurry consoling a freshman who was in tears when his parents dropped him off on the first day of school. 
Alexander says the groundskeeper told him that McGurry spotted the kid from a distance, stopped his conversation and ran to him, consoled him and brought him into school with his group of friends. Alexander said that McGurry's character made him a great fit for Michigan. His reported best friend, Robinson had committed to Michigan on September 14, 2010. In a press conference broadcast on ESPN E1 November 3, 2011, McGurry announced his verbal commitment to Michigan over his other two finalists Florida and Duke. Within hours of the commitment, ESPN ranked Michigan's recruiting class the fifth best in the nation. After several other schools announced their commitments, Michigan, which had been outside the top 25 at the end of October, ranked the number seven class in the nation, according to ESPN. He waited until November 9 to sign his national letter of intent so that his parents, who were still living in Indiana, could be present. Both of his parents had liked head coach Mike Krzyzewski and had hoped that he would choose Duke. At the time of their November 2011 national letter of intent signings, Nick Storskas, Robinson and McGurry gave Michigan a consensus top 10 entering class for its 2012 class. McGurry was technically eligible for the 2012 NBA draft. Brewster entered the 2012 NEPSAC Class AAA Boys Basketball Tournament undefeated and ranked number one in the nation according to the five-star basketball rankings published in Sports Illustrated, but lost in the semi-finals of the tournament to Northfield Mount Hermon School, who was led by future teammate Spike Albrecht, in overtime on March 2. In the overtime period, McGurry missed a game-tying free throw with 17.3 seconds remaining. His Brewster team defeated Massanutten Military Academy and Notre Dame Prep to reach the March 7 championship game and the National Prep Championship against Hargrave Military Academy. Brewster won the National Prep Championship game. The 2011 Euro 12 Brewster team was reported to have eight future Division I basketball players, including Florida State commit Aaron Thomas. Xavier commits Emaj Kristen, NC State commit T.J. Warren, and J.A. Carr Sampson. J.A. Carr Sampson earned both the 2012 National Prep Championship MVP and New England Preparatory School Athletic Council AAA Player of the Year, leaving McGurry with a supporting role. McGurry was invited to participate in the four-team All-American Championship along with future teammate Robinson in New Orleans on April 1, 2012. Six days later, McGurry represented USA Basketball at the 15th Annual Nike Hoops Summit as part of the 2012 USA Junior National Select Team. Following the season, he was named as one of 50 All-Americans in basketball by Parade magazine. During his senior season, scouts became aware that McGurry was less polished offensively than he had appeared. By January, his ranking had been reduced from number 2 overall to about number 20. He eventually settled between 26th and 30th by Scout.com, ESPN and Rivals.com in the final class of 2012 overall rankings. College, Freshman In the third game of the season and the third of his career, McGurry posted a game-high nine rebounds in 17 minutes of play off the bench against Cleveland State on November 13. McGurry also went 3-for-3 three three on his field goals. McGurry reached double figures in scoring for the first time December 4 against Western Michigan when he scored 10 points on 5 for 5 shooting in 14 minutes of play off the bench. He had his first 10 rebound game on December 11 against the Binghamton Barcats. On December 20, he posted his first double double with a then career high 11 rebounds and 10 points as well as a then career high 3 steals in just 18 minute of play against Eastern Michigan. On December 24, he was recognized as Big Ten Freshman of the Week. On January 6, McGurry tied then-career high with 11 rebounds, tied a then-career high to assists and set a career high with three blocked shots against Iowa. On January 28, Michigan was ranked number one in the AP poll with 51 of the 65 first-place votes. It marked the first time Michigan ranked atop the AP poll since the Fab Five 1992 Euro 93 team did so on December 5, 1992. After enduring an injured ankle against Illinois, starting center Jordan Morgan sat out the January 30 Northwestern game. McGurry posted 11 rebounds again, against Northwestern. In the subsequent games, 
Morgan continued to be in a day-to-day -day condition, playing minimal or no minutes. McGurry played a career-high 29 minutes, tallying then career highs of 14 points and 4 steals, along with 6 rebounds, on February 5 in an overtime victory against Ohio State. On February 9, McGurry played 32 minutes in an overtime loss to Wisconsin, totaling 12 points, 3 steals and 8 rebounds. For his efforts in two overtime games on the week, McGurry earned his second Big Ten Freshman of the Week honor on February 11. On February 12 in Michigan's 25th game of the season, McGurry made his first appearance in the starting lineup in the rivalry game against Michigan State. Michigan lost 75 a Euro 52 with McGurry posting a team high four rebounds. Morgan returned to the starting lineup in the February 17 Penn State contest, but he only played seven minutes. Although McGurry started again against Illinois on February 24, Morgan played more minutes than McGurry and John Horford. On March 14, in the first round of the 2013 Big Ten Conference men's basketball tournament against Penn State, McGurry posted his second career double-double, reaching 10 points and 10 rebounds in the first half, but only adding one more rebound in the second half. Prior to the 2013 NCAA Men's Division I basketball tournament, Jeff Goodman of CBSSPORTS.com named Michigan with McGurry first among tournament teams in terms of having the most future NBA talent on its roster. As a number four seed, Michigan defeated its first NCAA tournament opponent, South Dakota State, 71 a Euro 56 on March 21 with McGurry making his third start of the season and contributing 13 points and 9 rebounds. The 27th victory of the season gave the team its most wins in 20 years and matched head coach John Bylean's career high. Two days later McGurry made his fourth career start, adding career highs of 21 points on 10 for 11 shooting and 14 rebounds against VCU in a 78 a Euro 53 victory. In the first two tournament games combined, he shot 16 for 20. On March 29 against Kansas, McGurry earned his third consecutive start and fifth start of the season. He scored a career-high 25 points and career-high tying 14 rebounds, marking his second consecutive and fourth career double-double. He shot 12 for 17 in the game. McGurry joined Blake Griffin as the only two players in the last 15 NCAA Men's Division I basketball tournaments to achieve 14 or more rebounds and 21 or more points in back-to-back -back games. With his tournament run, McGurry became the Big Ten Conference leader in field goal percentage. In the regional finals on March 31 against Florida, McGurry contributed nine rebounds and 11 points, including 8 points as Michigan opened up a 13 a Euro 0 led to start the game. McGurry, also added a career-high 5 steals during his fourth consecutive start. McGurry and Storskas joined most outstanding player Trey Burke on the five-man South All Regional team. Following the regional championship post-game prayer and with Mrs. Bylene's consent, McGurry and Tim Hardaway, Jr. gave head coach John Bylene a Gatorade shower. In the April 6 national semi-final against Syracuse, McGurry contributed 10 points and 12 rebounds along with a career-high six assists. Two nights later, Michigan lost in the championship game to Louisville by an 82 a Euro 76 margin as McGurry contributed six points, six rebounds, a steal, a block and an assist. McGurry made the seven-man all-tournament team along with teammates Burke and Albrecht. In his six NCAA tournament starts, he averaged a double-double with 14.3 points and 10.8 rebounds. McGurry finished the season as the Big Ten Conference freshman leader in rebounding and placed second to Victor Oladipo in field goal percentage. 2013 NBA Draft Prior to the Final Four, McGurry stated that he would not enter the 2013 NBA Draft but a few days later said he had been caught off guard and would prefer to respond after he has time to reflect on his season. On April 9 before boarding the airplane to return from the NCAA Final Four, Bailene met with Burke, Hardaway, Robinson and McGurry to direct them to seek the advice of the NBA Advisory Committee. The draft board has until April 15 to develop each individual report and the players have until April 28 to enter the draft. On April 12, 
ESPN journalist Myron Metcalf described McGarry's likelihood of entering the draft as borderline, noting that his NCAA tournament performance may have given him a sudden chance to be a lottery selection. Several sources regarded him as a likely first-round draft choice in the NBA draft, so there was much speculation about him entering his name into the draft. On April 18, he and Robinson held a joint press conference to announce that they would not enter the draft. This came after Burke and Hardaway entered the draft on the 14th and 17th, respectively. Sophomore, preseason, on April 30th, ESPN's Amon Brennan named him a first-team 2013-14 pre-offseason All-American selection. In June 2013, Sporting News Mike DeCourcy named McGurry the best center for the upcoming season. McGurry declined an invitation to try out for the USA basketball team that competed at the 2013 Summer Universiade, opting instead to attend the Nike Skills Academy for big men featuring Amory Stridmeyer and Anthony Davis in the LeBron James Skills Academy. On September 6, Sporting News named McGurry to its preseason All-American first team, as well as the best overall player in the Big Ten Conference after he led Michigan to the championship game by averaging 14.3 points and 10.7 rebounds per game in the tournament. NBC Sports named him a second-team selection. Later that month, McGree joined McDermott, Smart, Wiggins and Julius Randle as first-team preseason All-Americans by USA Today Sports 2013-14 College Basketball Preview magazine. However, USA Today Sports staff later selected him as second team. Blue Ribbon College Basketball Yearbook named McGurry a preseason second team All-American. Lindy Sports selected McGurry to the preseason All-Big Ten second team and named him the nation's second best power forward. Athlon Sports selected McGurry to its preseason All-American second team and preseason All-Big Ten first team. CBS Sports selected McGurry as a second-team preseason All-American. Dick Vitale selected McGurry to his all-solid gold preseason first team. On November 4, McGurry was named first-team preseason All-American by the Associated Press along with McDermott, Smart, Wiggins and Smith. McGurry was on the 50-man Naismith Award and Wooden Award preseason watch lists. In September, McGurry experienced an unspecified lower back condition that impaired his basketball activity. He sat out the first exhibition game on October 29 against Concordia University. McGurry was a preseason All Big Ten selection in both the official media poll released by the Big Ten Conference and the unofficial media poll released by the Big Ten Network. He was also on the 15 man Oscar Robertson Trophy preseason watch list. Regular season McGurry sat out the season opener on November 8 due to his back problems. By November 11, head coach Bileen stated that McGurry had begun participating in limited full-speed workouts. After missing the preseason and first two regular season games, McGurry returned to play against Iowa State on November 17 posting nine points, six rebounds and four steals. McGurry posted a 14-point and 12-rebound double-double in his third game which was the November 22 Puerto Rico tip-off semi-final against Florida State. With leading scorer Storskas sidelined with an injury, the November 29 contest against Coppin State was McGurry's first start of the season. On December 3, McGurry had 15 points and 14 rebounds against Duke. McGurry tied his career high with six assists as Michigan defeated Houston Baptist by the 54 points on December 7. On December 21, McGurry sat out against Stanford due to assorted ailments. On December 27, McGurry announced that he would have back surgery. On January 3, the surgery date was announced as January 7. By March 15, he had progressed to running on hard cut surfaces, after some time spent running on an underwater treadmill. He was nearing jumping activities. The 2013 Euro 14 team advanced to the Elite Eight round of the 2014 NCAA Men's Division I basketball tournament before being eliminated by Kentucky on March 30. NBA career, 2014 NBA draft, following the season, McGurry, who had slipped from a projected 2013 first-round selection to a projected 2014 second-round selection, 
stated that he had to evaluate whether he was mentally and physically ready to pursue a professional career. McGurry and teammates Robinson and Storskas all submitted evaluation requests to the NBA Undergraduate Advisory Committee which must respond by April 14, giving the players until April 27 to make themselves eligible for the draft if they so choose. Many in the press felt he should return to rebuild his draft stock. Upon learning that he had tested positive for marijuana following the Sweet 16 victory over Tennessee and was facing a one-year suspension, McGurry declared for the draft, following teammates Storskas and Robinson who had declared ten days earlier. Of Michigan's prior 14 early NBA draft entrants, ten were selected in the first round and three in the second. McGurry was tested 18 days before the NCAA decided to reduce the automatic punishment for marijuana use to a half a season and his appeal for lenience was unsuccessful. During his two years with Michigan, the school enjoyed its winningest two-year stretch in school history marked by a total of 59 wins. McGurry signed with sports agent Mark Bartelstein. Bartelstein is the father of former Michigan teammate Josh Bartelstein, and agent for former teammate Tim Hardaway, Jr. Due to his continuing rehabilitation for his back, it was unclear whether McGurry would attend the NBA draft combine. McGurry and Bartlestein decided that McGurry should not participate in combines at less than 100%. Oklahoma City Thunder, McGurry was drafted 21st overall by the Oklahoma City Thunder. With teammates Storskas and Robinson also being drafted, it marked the first time Michigan had at least three draft picks since the 1990 NBA draft. With Burke and Hardaway having been drafted the year before, every player that started in the 2013 NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship game was drafted either in the 2013 or 2014 NBA draft. On July 5, 2014, McGurry signed with the Thunder and joined them for the 2014 NBA Summer League. On the first possession of his first NBA Summer League game, McGurry issued a half-court pass for a lob slam dunk by Jeremy Lamb, highlighting the passing that he is known for. On October 8 during training camp, McGurry fractured the second metatarsal of his left foot, causing him to be sidelined for an estimated six weeks. This occurred three weeks before the team's October 29 season opener and meant McGurry was expected to miss the first 14 games of the season. Personal, McGurry's father is a Chesterton High School alumnus and his mother worked there as the school treasurer. McGurry entertains his teammates with rapping on and off the court. McGurry's older brother Ryan bought him a unicycle for his 12th birthday and McGurry quickly became proficient eventually delivering newspapers on unicycles with his childhood friend Spencer who had a paper route and also had a unicycle. According to his AAU basketball coach, Wayne Brum, McGurry is said to have thrown a baseball in the mid to high 80 miles per hour range. McGurry is an avid skateboarder, with a set of skateboard ramps built by his father in his backyard. References External links, McGurry at ESPN, McGurry at CBS Sports, McGurry at MGOBlue.com, McGurry's Ann Arbor.com Archives, McGurry's Slam Magazine Archives, McGurry ESPN High School Archives, McGurry ESPN College Archives.